CIETNCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 7. Chapter 6 The Triangle and Its Properties. Page 118. Exercise 6.2. 1. Find the value of the unknown exterior angle X in the following diagrams. We have six diagrams given here. Page 119. 2. Find the value of the unknown interior angle X in the following figures. Again, we have six different figures of triangles given here. 6.5. Angle some property of a triangle. There is a remarkable property connecting the three angles of a triangle. You are going to see this through the following four activities. 1. Draw a triangle. Cut on the three angles. Rearrange them as shown in figure 6.131, the three angles now constitute one angle. This angle is a straight angle and so has measure 180 degrees. Figure 6.13 1. A triangle is given with angles 1, 2 and 3. 2. The three angles that is angle 1, 2 and 3 are combined together. Thus, the sum of the measures of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. 2. The same fact you can observe in a different way also. Take three copies of any triangle, say triangle ABC, figure 6.14. Here triangle ABC is given along with its two copies. Page 120. Arrange them as in figure 6.15. What do you observe about angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3? Do you also see the exterior angle property? 3. Take a piece of paper and cut out a triangle, say, Triangle ABC Figure 6.16 Figure 6.16 Here, three triangles ABC are given. Make the altitude AM by folding triangle ABC such that it passes through A. Fold now the three corners such that all the three vertices A, B and C touch at M you find that all the three angles form together a straight angle. This again shows that the sum of the measures of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. 4. Draw any three triangles, say triangle ABC, triangle PQR and triangle XYZ in your notebook. Use your protractor and measure each of the angles of these triangles. Tabulate your results. Name of triangle, measures of angles, sum of the measures of the three angles. Triangle ABC. M angle A is equal to dash. M angle B is equal to dash. M angle C is equal to dash. M angle A plus M angle B plus M angle C is equal to dash. Triangle PQR. M angle P is equal to dash. M angle Q is equal to dash. M angle R is equal to dash. 
एम एंगल पी प्लस एम एंगल क्यू प्लस एम एंगल आर इज इक्वल टू डैश ट्राई एंगल एक्स वाई जेड एम एंगल एक्स इज इक्वल टू डैश एम एंगल वाई इज इक्वल टू डैश एम एंगल जेड इज इक्वल टू डैश एम एंगल एक्स प्लस एम एंगल वाई प्लस एम एंगल जेड इज इक्वल टू डैश अलाउिंग मार्जिनल एरर्स इन मेजरमेंट यू विल फाइंड दैट द लास्ट कॉलम ऑलवेज गिव्स वन हंड्रेड एटी डिग्रीज और नियरली वन हंड्रेड एटी डिग्रीज वेन परफेक्ट प्रिसन इज पॉसिबल दिस विल ऑल्सो शो दैट द सम ऑफ द मेजर्स ऑफ द थ्री एंगल्स ऑफ अ ट्राई एंगल इज वन हंड्रेड एटी डिग्रीज यू आर नाउ रेडी टू गिव अ फॉर्मल जस्टिफिकेशन ऑफ योर असर्शन थ्रू लॉजिकल आर्ग्यूमेंट statement the total measure of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees to justify this let us use the exterior angle property of a triangle figure 6.17 triangle abc is given in which angle 1 2 3 are interior angles and angle 4 is the exterior angle page 121 given angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 are angles of triangle abc figure 6.17 angle 4 is the exterior angle when bc is extended to d justification angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to angle 4 by exterior angle property angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to angle 4 plus angle 3 adding angle 3 to both the sides but angle 4 and angle 3 form a linear pair so it is 180 degrees therefore angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees let us see how we can use this property in a number of ways example 2 in the given figure figure 6.18 find m angle p figure 6.18 triangle pqr is given with angle q is equal to 47 degrees and angle r equal to 52 degrees solution by angle sum property of a triangle m angle p plus 47 degrees plus 52 degrees is equal to 180 degrees therefore m angle p is equal to 180 degrees minus 47 degrees minus 52 degrees which is equal to 180 degrees minus 99 degrees which is equal to 81 degrees exercise 6.3 one find the value of the unknown x in the following diagrams we have six diagrams of triangles given here one triangle abc with angle a equal to x angle b equal to 50 degrees and angle c equal to 60 degrees two triangle pqr with angle p equal to 90 degrees angle r equal to x and angle q equal to 30 degrees three triangle xyz with angle x equal to 30 degrees angle y equal to 110 degrees and angle z equal to x 4 triangle is given with two angles measuring x and one angle is 50 degrees 5 triangle is given with all the three angles measuring x 
triangle is given with one angle measuring 90 degrees. Other two angles are x and 2x. 2. Find the values of the unknowns x and y in the following diagrams. Again, we have six different diagrams given here. 1. Triangle is given with interior angles as 50 degrees x and y. Exterior angle is equal to 120 degrees. 2. Triangle is given with interior angles as 50 degrees x and y. Exterior angle is equal to 80 degrees. 3. Triangle is given with interior angles as 50 degrees, 60 degrees and y. Exterior angle is equal to x. 4. Triangle is given with interior angles as 30 degrees, x and y. Exterior angle is equal to 60 degrees. 5. Triangle is given with interior angles as x, x and y. Exterior angle is equal to 90 degrees. 6. Triangle is given with one interior angle as y and three exterior angles each measuring x. Page 122. Try these. 1. Two angles of a triangle are 30 degrees and 80 degrees. Find the third angle. 2. One of the angles of a triangle is 80 degrees and the other two angles are equal. Find the measure of each of the equal angles. 3. The three angles of a triangle are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1. Find all the angles of the triangle. Classify the triangle in two different ways. Think, discuss and write. 1. Can you have a triangle with two right angles? 2. Can you have a triangle with two obtuse angles? 3. Can you have a triangle with two acute angles? 4. Can you have a triangle with all the three angles greater than 60 degrees? 5. Can you have a triangle with all the three angles equal to 60 degrees? 6. Can you have a triangle with all the three angles less than 60 degrees? 6.6 .6. Two special triangles Equilateral and Isosceles A triangle in which all the three sides are of equal lengths is called an equilateral triangle. Take two copies of an equilateral triangle ABC. Figure 6.19 1. Triangle ABC is given in which all sides are equal. 2. Triangle ABC is given in which all sides are equal and all angles measure 60 degrees. Keep one of them fixed. Place the second triangle on it. It fits exactly into the first. Turn it around in any way and still they fit with one another exactly. Are you able to see that when the three sides of a triangle have equal lengths, then the three angles are also of the same size? We conclude that in an equilateral triangle, 1. All sides have same length. 2. Each angle has measure 60 degrees. Page 123 A triangle in which two sides are of equal lengths is called an isosceles triangle. We have a figure here figure 6.20, which shows two figures of triangles. 1. Triangle XYZ is given with XY equal to XZ. 2. Triangle XYZ is divided into two parts by line XM, such that XY is equal to XZ and angle Y is equal to angle Z. 
From a piece of paper, cut out an isosceles triangle XYZ with XY is equal to XZ. Figure 6.20. Fold it such that Z lies on Y. The line XM through X is now the axis of symmetry, which you will read in Chapter 14. You find that angle Y and angle Z fit on each other exactly. XY and XZ are called equal sides. YZ is called the base. Angle Y and angle Z are called base angles and these are also equal. Thus, in an isosceles triangle, 1. Two sides have same length. 2. Base angles opposite to the equal sides are equal. Try these. 1. Find angle X in each figure. We have nine figures of triangles given here. Page 124 2. Find angles X and Y in each figure. We have three figures of triangles given here. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.